Hi everybody, I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. And for those of you who don't know what that is, those are the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. Now today, it is a late night, dojo's closed, I'm not wearing any makeup, I look like hell, but I feel like I need to make a video and talk about some of the guidelines and policies uh, that are required, or one has to abide by, if they're an instructor of the Buddha Dukai. Now the reason I'm making this video, sadly, is because there have been people post some uh, things on the internet that are just simply not true. And the people that have posted these things are absolutely not Budo Ryukai instructors, nor have they ever been licensed Budo Ryukai instructors. But they are posting things like they know what's going on. And um, what they're posting is just simply wrong. So I want to um, talk about a few things of what's the expectations, what are the policies, and uh, kind of set the record straight that way in case someone ever asks me about certain things, I can send them this video and um, that'll give them kind of the, the basic bones of, of what is expected if they're an instructor in this organization. First off, I want to start out by tackling one question about students. If you're a student in the Buddha Yukai and you're studying Buddha Di Ninjutsu and these seven warrior traditions, right, of ancient ninja and samurai warfare, right, and you want to cross train with another martial art, I think that's absolutely wonderful and you should. If you feel that you want to train in another martial art, go do it. I don't give a damn whether it's, you know, Jeet Kune Do, Wing Chun, Krav Maga, Aikido, Kung Fu. If you feel that you need to study more than what I'm giving you and you're a student, I say go ahead. You do what you got to do to make yourself happy. I would never tell a student not to cross train. I mean, clearly, the Buddha Dukai teaches seven ancient warrior traditions, and I studied with multiple people to have what I have. Now, I will say that I've studied way more than seven different disciplines. In my journey of the martial arts, I came to find out that when I studied all these different martial arts, what intrigued me the most was the history and tradition of Japan, the ancient samurai, the way of the warrior, the ninja, Right? And I wanted to dedicate my, my martial, my, my, my expression of the martial arts, my teachings, my life to true, authentic ninjutsu and bujutsu, true budo, true ninpo. And that is the direction that I took. And that's why I developed the Buddha Dukai, because I felt that tradition, history and tradition was being washed away. People were into the sport martial arts and MMA and kickboxing and everyone was blending all this shit together and they weren't sticking to tradition. And I, like I said, I studied many different martial arts and I studied different types of MMA and kickboxing and all that kind of stuff too. But I found myself in these, these seven ancient warrior traditions. So I developed the Buddha Dukai back in 2004. In case this is the first video you guys have ever seen, please check out my, Buddha, my website at buddhodininjutsu.com and then you can read the bio and the history and all that there. So if you guys are students of the Buddha Dukai and you want to cross train, you want to do ancient ninja and samurai martial arts, and you want to do something else, I say go for it. Go on, you do what you got to do to find your way, find what you're doing. However, if you are instructors, then you have to make the commitment 100% to the Buddha Dukai. Instructors do not cross train. Now, I know that sometimes people think that's a little harsh, but that has been the rule, and that has always been the rule. I am a very straightforward person. I do not candy coat shit. I am very clear about what the rules are, and I am very clear about how I do things. There has not been, and never has been, an instructor that I have given the okay to teach Buddha Do Ninjutsu that did not know that. Absolutely, 100%, that is, that is the truth. Now I'm going to tell you why. We don't live in an age like it was when I was coming up, studying martial arts and all this kind of stuff. We live in an age now of the internet and everyone has a cell phone, and hell, I got a phone on a selfie stick for crying out loud walking around Kansas City shooting this video. Right now I can get on this phone, I can tell you the temperature on the other side of the world in a small ass town that I don't even know if I could pronounce. We have so much information on our hands, and the Buddha Yukai is a business. 
And I know people really hate to use that word with martial arts business. But I don't candy coat shit. I say it exactly like it is. I'm 100% truthful. And the Buddha Dukai is a business. I, I get paid teaching people these ancient martial arts. I sell books. I sell DVDs. I sell downloads. We have merchandise. We have t-shirts. We have coffee mugs. We got books. We, I mean, you name it. I sell it in the Buddha Dukai. I make a living doing what I love to do. The people that have a problem with other people making money doing what they love aren't making a living doing what they love. There's absolutely nothing wrong with making money doing what you love. And I can honestly say I am making a, I am making a living doing exactly what I love to do, and that's teaching these ancient warrior traditions. And if someone is an instructor within the Buddha Dukai, they 100% have to have made that same commitment. I want to know that when I make books and DVDs and downloads and, and all this shit and all the videos I paste up on Facebook and all the, I make two or three videos a week on YouTube and all this stuff, I want to know that my instructors, the people that are helping me teach this history and tradition of something that I feel is being lost because of the moder modernization of the world, I want to know that they have my back 100%. And that is why I've always said the instructors have to make that commitment. A student don't. A student can cross-train all they damn well want. I, when I was a student, I cross-trained. When I made the Buddha Yukai, I did not. <laughs> I just, you know what I mean? So this isn't, a, 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 when I say that, I don't want you guys, because the majority of you people watch this video probably aren't members of the Buddha Yukai, and you probably never will be. The other half of you guys are probably students, and you're probably cross-training. And if you are, that's totally cool. But if you are thinking about being an instructor, there is absolutely no cross-training because I feel that I want, I want to be able to share this art and its, and, it, and its deepest secrets with the people that give me that commitment. And when people cheat that, I feel massively betrayed because I look at all the people who have gotten an instructor license from me I say, are you ready to do this? You're with the Buddha Rukai 100%. This is it. And they're all like, yes, Sensei. So even though I am making this video because people who have never been instructors are making, are putting up false information and they're twisting things to kind of using, using Kyojutsu, right? Well, they're attempting to use Kyojutsu, but in a way they're using Kyojutsu to twist things to fit their argument. I want to make sure that the facts are out there because the facts are the facts and the facts don't change. Okay, so fact, students cross train, teachers don't. That is, the, that is the way it has always been. Now from there, I want to talk about rank. When you are an instructor, it has been and always will be and always has been. You can only rank up to below what you are. Most people want to attain a black belt, so I'm going to use the black belt as an example. If you are a first degree black belt and you are an instructor, you can only give rank up to second brown. You cannot rank any higher than that. You can, you can uh, recommend a third brown, right? But you cannot give a third brown. You can only give a second brown. If you are a second degree black belt, if you are a second degree black belt, you could give a third brown and you could recommend you could recommend a black belt exam right but that's if you're second if you are first degree black belt you can rank up to second degree brown and you can only recommend a third brown now we've had lots of students come into the buddha dukai come and go we've had lots of you'd be surprised how many people are out this late at night i mean it's fucking late right Anyway, we've had lots of people come into the Buddha Dukai. They come and go. We've had lots of instructors come into the Buddha Dukai. They start and then they leave, right? And that's fine too. Because sometimes people like Buddha Dukai Ninjutsu and then they start teaching it and then they're like, ah, maybe I want to do something different. Well, then there's a way to get out of that, right? Just say, hey, this ain't for me. And then you just you stop and remove yourself from the organization. Now, everybody who's been part of the Buddha Dukai that's an instructor... They've all left for a variety of different reasons. No two, no two people are the same and everyone has, you know, different reasons for shit. Okay, so in no way am I trying to pigeonhole everybody who's ever been an instructor that's left the organization, okay? 
Um, I've had many people be instructors and they've been here for 10 plus years. And I've had many people be instructors and they left the organization, right? It is what it is. And that's just, again, that's just part of business. That's just the way that is. I'm not going to chalk it up any more than that because when they start teaching, they have now become part of the business. If you're just a student, you're just a student and you're just, you're, you're training, right? But if you're an instructor, you've now become part of the business and you're helping me teach and push this organization, this brand, Budo Dukai, push the brand, push what we're doing and the seven traditions and so on and so forth. So one thing that all the instructors have that's a common, the ones that have left, all of them have got to that same point. They've all got to the point where they are here and they can't give any more rank. And all the instructors say the same thing. Well, you know, I got to leave because, well, one of the reasons they say this, I take it back again, I'm not trying to pigeonhole everyone. So one thing that they've all done, they've all got to the point to where they can't give any more rank. And they've all said, well, I got to do the thing that's best for me financially and my family. That's because you can't promote anybody anymore because you didn't keep up on your CEUs. Now, if, you're, if you are keeping up with your CEUs, your continued educational units, that means you should be progressing in the martial arts. If you're progressing, you can continue to give rank. If you didn't, if you haven't been, you know, doing your CEUs, your continued educational units, you're not progressing in rank, well, then you can't give any more rank. So the reason we do that is because I don't want to have an organization that gives out all this fucking inflated rank and you got all these people running around black belts and they're not any good. That's the purpose of making sure the instructors have to be two above whatever they give. They can recommend one below, but they can only give two below. And the way for them to continue to give rank is to be able to continue their education. If they're a first degree, they need to get a second. If they're a second, they need to get a third. And as they go up, they can then award more rank. Typically speaking, when you have a brown black belt student and they take on a white belt, you know, it generally takes four years or so or however long, you know, generally four or five years to get a black belt in this organization. I say that's an average. I've had people do it in less than five years and I've had people do it in, you know, more than, this took in more than five years, right? But I mean, just generally speaking, right? So, but I mean, if you're already a black belt and you're taking, you got a bunch of, you, you shouldn't be a problem for me, for you to keep, keep up your continued educational units, continue to progress, get more ranks so that you can give your students rank as they progress through the, through the curriculum. So the first thing is, as an instructor, the first guideline, I guess, the first policy is, you have to make a commitment to the Buddha Dukai. It has been, and it always has been, this or nothing. You have to make that commitment. If they don't make that commitment, they don't get their teaching license. It's just that simple. I'm not gonna sit here and talk to the world about the martial arts that I teach, and I don't have 100% backing by the people who are certified instructors in my own organization. That just shit's not gonna happen, right? So without doubt, you have to be full on, 100% committed to the Buddha Dukai. And number two, you have to understand that you can't give any more rank more than two of what you are. Like I said, one common thing about every instructor that's left the organization, they've always left when they couldn't give any more rank because they've had a student get to that point and they have to make a decision that's best for them financially. So now I'm gonna paint a picture of what you could do if you were instructors and you wanted to leave and you wanted to do something different, just give me a call. Hey Sensei, I just gotta to talk to you. It's been great training with you. I've learned so much. I feel like my journey's going somewhere else. I need to do this. Um, I wanna maintain friendship. I wanna do this, uh, you know, talk to you and, and, and be friends, you know, but I really love what we've done and you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine, There's, that's how you should handle it. Now I'm gonna tell you how you should not handle it. If you know, number one, if you know that you're supposed to be 100% or nothing, and then I find out that you're training in another martial art, that's bad. To me, when you make the commitment to me and the organization as an instructor, and then you're doing something else and I find out about it, that's dishonorable. There's just no other way around that because I've never bent that rule for anybody, right? Another thing that's completely dishonorable is when you know that you can't rank anybody more than two below you. So again, let's go with someone as a, in this system, let's go with this. You got a red belt, right? Which would be like a fourth queue. 
let's say you have a group leader and we have group leaders here and we have instructors. Group leaders are people who do not run schools, not full-fledged instructors. So there's a gray area there. Group leaders can still cross train, but they have to cross train on what they were doing before, but they still have to have two ranks above. We have a, we have a bridge between students and instructors in case someone was thinking about doing it, but not really open to school yet. But let's just use this as an example. Let's say someone is a, is a red belt and they're a group leader, instructor or whatever, and then they give a green belt. Well, they've already given a rank that they can't give. You, they can't do that. But the, the kid, whoever the rank they give him to, obviously that kid thinks that he earned the rank, right? I mean, if you're a black belt, you can't give a third brown. If you give a third brown, you know, then the person got the third brown is gonna think, yes, I got something, and you broke the rule. You broke that trust, right? So the same thing, if you have an instructor, let's say that they're an instructor of a dip, they had a different martial art and they opened the school and they're converting it to a Buddha Union Jitsu school or whatever, and they're a group leader and maybe they make it to red belt and they're giving out green belt rank or whatever, well then that goes against that rule, right? So again, that's a little dishonorable. So anyway, I probably will make another video, make this way more professional, but just because I have people posting stupid shit on the internet, I feel like, okay, I need to post this goddamn video, so I'm gonna put it out there like, these are, these are facts, 100%. So let me talk about something that you, can't, that you shouldn't do. That would be the absolute most shittiest way to leave, leave the organization as instructor. So again, everyone wants to be a black belt. So you become a black belt, you're a black belt instructor, and Shit's not going right. You're not keeping up your CEUs. You haven't done any training. And I keep asking you, are you training with someone else? Are you training with someone else? And you are. And uh, you know you're not, you know you can't. And then I'm like, are you training with someone else? You're training someone else. And uh, I, I even say, you know, I'm getting some emails and people showing me pictures of you doing some, some jujitsu or whatever, you know. I mean, are you training somewhere else? No, no, and they, everything. No, sensei, no, I'm 100%. No, I'm not training, no. I'm with you, I'm with the Buddha Rukai. So like, if you already know that you're supposed to be 100% Budarukai and you don't, and then I ask you if you're training with another school and you are training with another school and then you lie about it, keep telling me over and over again, no, I'm not with another school, no, that I'm not with a school of school, and then you quit. And then I ask you like, okay, fine, you, now you've quit, it's all over with, you're done. But now my students are sending me pictures saying that you have been training with someone else, you know, and then you just block me because, well then, that's a bad way of ending it. You know, I've been, I'm a very upfront person. I am very intense, I'm very upfront. I'm not candy coating shit. Everyone knows where I stand on certain things. I treat everyone the same. That's the reason we have rules and guidelines is that way everyone gets treated fairly. It's not fair when all the other instructors go by guidelines and some don't. So, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna say one thing and then I'm gonna give you guys an outro. So 100%, if you guys are students, cross train and then don't be an asshole. If you're an asshole, you do things that are against the rules in the handbook, the only thing I'm really bringing up today is really the cross training bit, then um, you're fine. As long as you're not being an asshole, you follow the rules in the handbook, you can cross train all you damn well want, don't care. If you're an instructor, you have to make the commitment. You cannot be an instructor without committing 100%. There is no cross-training, there is no teaching other arts. If you guys don't wanna do that, then just don't be a teacher. Teach something else, go do something else. I'm not asking, I'm not forcing people to do it, right? So there's that. If, you, if I ask a question, be honest. Don't try to hide something because nothing's worse than me catching you in a damn, in a lie, and then when I ask you about it, it's a lie. You know what I'm saying? So let's just not do that. You can only rank two above, you can only rank two below what you are. Don't give out any more rank than that. Because then, then we have to have a problem talking to your students or whatever, and you gotta be dismissed because you're doing inappropriate shit. So you can, be, you can only rank two below, and you can only recommend one below, right? So there's that. Now, before I let all of you guys go, here's my outro. To all the people who have been students of the Buddha Dukai and have left, thank you guys very much. If you've left and you're doing something else and you're finding happiness, that's awesome. Not my What I do is not for everyone. I honestly believe every martial art has its own purpose. There is no martial art better than another. Everyone studies for a different reason. So I'm not saying that Budo Dyu Ninjutsu 
is the great is is the best martial art. It is this martial art. It is my martial art. Okay, but everyone, every martial art has their own purpose and their own benefit, and every martial art has a has a strength and a weakness. Okay, so find the one that best fits you. If you guys are training with me and you always have, thank you for that loyalty, that dedication. If you've trained with me and you've decided to go elsewhere, but you're happy, I think that's awesome. Keep doing what you're doing. If you guys are instructors under me and you've been instructors for 10 years plus or whatever and you're still with me, again, thank you very much for your, your dedication, your loyalty, your integrity. I'm, I'm truly honored. To all of you guys out there who are instructors under the Buddha Yukai and you have left for whatever reason, whether it was you left on good terms or you left on bad terms, no matter what, I have never made a hateful post about anybody and I sure as fuck ain't going to start now. So, I mean, I'm going to say my, I'm going to say what I need to say in private. If I'm talking to someone in private, I make a private video or a private chat or if I'm having an email or whatever. I mean, I'm going to say in a private setting, I'll say what I need to say. But I've never made a public post disrespecting anybody. I've never said, you know, you know, so-and-so is an asshole or so-and-so is a piece of shit or so-and-so is this. I've never done that. I'm never going to do it. So for all of you guys who are instructors who have been with me, thank you for the loyalty for all of you guys who are instructors who were with me and then you've left, whether you're on good terms when you left or whether you're on bad terms when you left, no matter, either way, if you're doing something that you feel is best for you, I honestly believe you should live your life to be happy. If you lived on good terms, thank you for showing me the respect, uh, for that respect and, and we get to continue your friendship. If you left on bad terms, all I'm gonna say is, you know, good luck. I wish you the best. I'm not gonna wish bad on anybody, but you know, you, know, you do what you gotta do to be happy. So hopefully I've cleared up a few things uh, regarding the um, false information that have been perpetuated on the internet and have been posted. Um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions, you guys can stick it below. But honestly, I don't. I think I pretty much cleared that shit. So thank you guys for your love and support. If you guys are students of the Buddha Dukai and students and supporters, thank you guys for your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, take care, be safe. And... Uh, Luck in the journey of Buddha.